previously on our adventures in the world of the Witcher, the group arrived at the Weary Traveler Inn and had begun questioning the locals about the missing children of Saints Crossing. They gathered some useful information and made a few connections, as well as met some of the dreary and weary and uh, angry patrons of the inn. Casper took a break to relax with a bath <laughs> so and many, spent some so many sad sacks. <laughs> yeah, uh, took a time to relax so and uh, take a bath, spend some time with Florence, the prostitute. And meanwhile, Kilton had won a number of pool games against another traveling merchant and started brainstorming new ways to make money, including the idea of selling cheese. Ophea and Mare worked together using Ophea's tyromancy to plan out some new ideas for how to gain some information. They'd bought some cheese and had prepared the ritual to see if they might glean some answers. And that's where we had left them with Ophea's role from last time. So we'll pick back up there. and jump back into Scenes Crossing. And Mari doesn't trust the mages as much as she says either. Uh, obviously. I'm just not going to say that to their faces because I'm not yeah, stupid. But it's- or around Casper. Because <laughs> I don't want you to lord that over me like I know you will. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> You're just as insufferable as I am. In these yeah, kind the of insider things. information here is that uh I want to be back in the room. That now. may just I'm be back. having secrets. All right. Uh, so everyone had gotten a good meal last time. So, or sorry, a, a simple meal. Oh, that's right. So that's a plus one for your body skills for the next day, we'll say. And then, uh, Casper, you also had just gotten a bath as well as some time with a prostitute. So for your, uh, mm-hmm. let's see, for the bath, for being clean, essentially. I'm going to give you a plus two bonus to, I think, grooming and style doesn't make sense because you are groomed and styled. Um, Social etiquette, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm going to give you a plus two for the hot bath since you're like well cleaned and good. I'm going to give you a plus two to most of your empathy skills. So basically you're clean and look professional and you know, not like a hobo, so they're going to treat you a little bit nicer. So you get a little bit of a bonus to like persuasion and things like that, as well as your social etiquette. You look the part. And then for your uh, time with the prostitute, you're additionally relaxed. Uh, and so you'll have a little bit of bonus with certain things uh, for the next day or so, we'll say. Yeah. Not a specific like uh, skill in mind, but you'll be able to utilize that a little bit as you are. Man, I wish fresh dissertation was a thing in this game. <laughs> <laughs> right? That would be... Even I mean, I'm sure it's like a bathing spell and it's specific as fuck and it takes like all of your vigor. Oh. All right. I um, can bring... Dude, I can bring expired food back from the dead. I think that's pretty okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you could try that on somebody and so see how it works. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for the body stats... <laughs> For the um, body stats, would that be uh, what I check off profession? That's a proficiency pick or learn. Uh, or just you just added. Add you just added as as a uh, additional modifier. Hit the plus. Yes, yeah, so that little plus uh, under both of meal. those. There we go. Then you can just do like simple meal and say plus one. There we go. And okay. that'll last for about a day till you're no longer well yeah, fed. Yeah, comes out. 
Casper like comes out of the back and he's like, I think he changes into his like fine clothes he bought too. So he just looks like pretty decent. Justifying the empathy skills as well. He looks nice. Clean up nice. Mm. Man, I wish I had a bathtub I could take a bath in. Fuck. Me too. I have a bathtub you guys, or well, at least Bo can use. <laughs> I also have a bathtub, but I'm not going to take a bath in it. My bathtub's brand new. Okay, but it's not deep enough to really like... Oh, I gotcha. Submerge in. I thought you were talking shit about my bathtub. No, it's... I mean, I kind of am. It's not big enough to submerge in. Yeah, it's fair. So for this Tyromancer roll... Uh, yes. Yes, that was your tire. You, you rolled it last time. I don't want to necessarily take it away from you. You were getting prepared. Uh, if that's the role you want to use then um well should it just should it just be the ritual crafting though because it says um you fan roll uh, ritual crafting um that's that is the thing it's not it's it's a oh, ritual oh, so i see that's the it used your ritual ca- cra- oh, crafting, well, I not your spell casting it's the, okay yeah. it's the different spell casting that's, stat. I, that, this is this is the ritual crafting type you might be able to make it i missed it okay I misread, I misread some part of that for some. Okay. Yeah, so I will now roll, uh, let's see, okay. 1d6. Um, and uh, the question I ask, by the way, actually, I'll, um, I'll consult with Mario. It's like, I think I'm just going to ask if we should trust the mages. No, because that, we, that's, that's a question I can answer without Tyromancy. We shouldn't trust them entirely. Okay, I should ask if we should turn against them. I do trust them. I don't, but I don't do not trust them entirely. It's, you should never trust them entirely. Okay, let me, me rephrase. I should. We should. Should I ask if we should turn against them? No. What we need to ask is. Oh, let me see. Divine with our course of action will have a positive or negative outcome. For the check you can ask the demon whether course of action will have a positive outcome. Okay. Uh, if they have, uh, but, uh, okay, so would it positively would we be that's not a positive or negative would we make positive headway in the search for the missing children by looking in the in the sorceress's basement? Should we go in the basement? Pause the No, I think we should go in the basement, but is <laughs> I want to go in the basement regardless. <laughs> would be, but would it be a good idea or a bad idea? <laughs> would it be a good idea? Would it, <sighs> would it help us find the kids? Would, it, would going in the basement help us find the kids? Okay, that's what you're going with? Because they might be uh, hiding I something from us. Might not be a part of it, they might be hiding something from us. Sounds that's like it's in the basement. <laughs> I, well, I'm going to do that during the party. I'm gonna, I was going to do that during the party anyway. I, um... But if, if these girls are accident, if these underclassmen of mine are actually kidnapping children and reason, I would like to know why. But I'm not going to is... about it. Until I if we enter the basement... And yeah, this is just what, like, a face finger stuff. Like, okay. If we enter the basement in our quest for finding the missing children, will it aid us or hinder us, help us or harm us? And then just kind of looks at cheese and goes, I'm really hungry. I know I just ate, but... Mm. <laughs> That's such good cheese. <laughs> um... Okay. Yeah, that's what it like. That like just this really intense frustration <laughs> in front of the fire. I will also say, Ophelia, uh, 
you're fairly confident in your abilities of ritual crafting, um, especially in, in this context. Um, obviously, you, we already rolled at the end of, of last episode, but um, knowing that your will is 10 and your ritual crafting is 13, the base DC, right, is 13. And so, you know, adding your plus five with your luck, uh, you know that you have a pretty good chance of passing this. So if you had if you wanted to not necessarily use a stronger cheese or I guess not stronger, better quality cheese, um, that could also be an option if you don't necessarily want to use that. Oh, can can we retcon and have some have some gold back? If you if you want, I mean, I'm just I wanted to point out Reconomy you guys already bought it. But if you want to keep that for something else, you could keep that and and buy some additional cheaper cheese if you want, just because, you know, Ophaya's abilities are, you know, fairly um, competent in this skill, especially with. Really good yeah, we have the same ritual crafting bonus, girly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we could we could save the brief for ourselves a little girls' night snack uh, and just use regular ass cheese. I'm fine with doing this. I'm fine with some a cheaper cheese. Okay. From board. We, we'll just use like the the, ba- the basic uh, cheddar. Yeah, twenty crowns worth. It's all. Uh... I forgot that I'm, I think I must. Uh... Yeah, I think I up uh, spent some skill points since the last time. Yeah, we're we're both we're both pretty decent at ritual craft. Then pyromancy is just a much more fun ritual than the one ritual that I know. I should be doing more rituals. Seems to be the uh, the moral of the story. Yeah, I have one that can increase. The decrease, the increase vigor, or uh, make fit make fifth uh, fifth essence. That's about it. Fifth essence Very is situational. good. It is, but I haven't had a reason to make it. I haven't had a need to make it yet. I have everything to do this ritual like once because the components are kind of expensive. All right. So what are you doing then? Dust. We're using the cheap cheese, and we're going to eat the brie ourselves because we deserve a treat. Okay. So I think the we cheap cheese is later, but probably. <laughs> Go ahead, go for you. Oh, that, that was it. We, 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 we're, I, but I, I, want, I mean, I'll role play eating some cheese later. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll take. Wow. Um, yeah, we actually we'll, we need to we'll, all break so yeah, we can we'll do some the, uh, larping of eating uh, cheese. Of, of uh, eating cheese. cheese. Go scurry <laughs> off to my fridge and eat four four entire baby bells. <laughs> four entire baby bells. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna immerse myself. You guys got some additional cheaper cheese. That's, I think, 10 uh, crowns per unit. Um, Mm. So you you are able to perform this. We'll let you keep your original role, Ophea. Um, And so you can you go ahead and say one more. So you're asking specifically if entering into the our quests uh, into the basement in the sorceress's lodge will us will be in our quest for finding these missing children if this will uh, be a positive or negative uh, in accomplishing this okay. uh, that particular errand of ours and Ophaya, what does casting this ritual look like for you as you kind of go over to the communal you know fireplace here in the inn I feel like I have described this before but um I'm just, I th- I'm just holding the, these wedges of cheese in each hand <laughs> out in front of the heat, and it's not really close enough that they should be melting away as fast as they do. But um, I'm just like looking back and forth at the two of them and s- seeing which one is is re- is is reacting differently and. They both sort of start to get really saturated in their in their golden hues, uh, and, and get just really this really juicy looking orange before just 
dimming away and turning completely black and then just shrinking down to ash, which carbonization dust off into the into the fireplace. As you do this, Ophea, the magical energies that course through you through this ritualistic performance, you feel the cheese. You are one with the cheese. And somehow <laughs> that magical dairy power just courses through you. So st- <laughs> And <laughs> you are able to almost kind of envision you're almost able to see or imagine, perhaps, that you are back at the sorceress's lodge and you are heading towards that door to the basement. And you're thinking in your mind, you're feeling whether this is the right choice or not. And you are struck with a very powerful feeling that this is not going to lead you to the missing children, that it is not what you were looking for. I turn to Mara and say, it's, now's not the time. It's later, but... Um, Let's go and have our midnight snack then, and we can, we can debrief about the cheese. Yeah, that goes farther down the to-do list, I think. Well, maybe it's something in town. What kind of feeling did you get from the cheese? Like I said, we should. I, I'm very curious about that secret door, but I am too. Not the time. Just, okay. I don't think it's gonna do. I don't think it's gonna help us. I'm just glad to know that my. So, I'm just glad to know that my underclassmen are not kidnappers. Well, that's not in the basement. <laughs> mm-hmm. They said that's the one place we said they said we couldn't go. Well, so. maybe they think you're okay with kidnapping. I'm just kidding. Obviously not. <laughs> well, maybe right. it was for a really good reason. Mm, no. I don't think in an, under any circumstances Mari would be okay with kidnapping. That's that's that's, 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 that's bad. Especially if it's an actual kid. It's, yeah, it's, it's one of the more difficult well, to defend. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of scruples, but that's one that I do have. Child abduction. <laughs> <laughs> The Leave that to the Bobby Yagas. <laughs> yes. What about Bobby Yagas? Uh, Casper comes out and sits down. I'm ready to call it for the night. Let's go eat our night cheese and go to bed. Yeah, oh, Casper, yeah. go ahead and give us another to the meal en- <laughs> endurance uh, check uh, as you finished oh, off your bottle of dwarven spirits. Let's go. Let's see. Ooh. I'm so endurance. You are. You do start to feel the effects, life. though. This is very strong alcohol, and you mm. have been drinking it for uh, fairly quickly in the yeah, last few hours. So, bottle of vodka, you monster. At this point, you like start to feel like un like unsteady and a little bit um, unable to like stand up straight. Your vision is starting to feel a little blurred. And it's kind of odd. It's been a long time since you've like actually had enough to drink to like feel drunk, but you're you're there. Are you smiling? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a judgment. So. I'm just it's just an observation. Am I? You are. Oh, you're gonna mm. stop because I called attention to it. That's my that's my mistake. Sorry. I was enjoying it, but I wasn't. I don't know how my face rests. Don't know how to do that on purpose. It's a good look on you. 
he kind of like son he like kind of like walks around a little bit he, you guys have did, we're, pro- we're unsure that he could get drunk so seeing him kind of like stumble around is odd a hawkum spirits no joke mm-hmm. <laughs> i should have taken a shot with you <laughs> uh <laughs> He just starts like laughing. It's like this horrible, like dusty wheeze Wasn't of a laugh. That funny. <laughs> you want some cheese? I ordered this. Uh, Sorry. I ordered this entire plate, and I cannot finish it all. Cheese. <laughs> yes. Damn, that's unnerving. Uh, you want some cheese? <laughs> I'm used to it at this. I've known this fucker for so long. I'm Plenty used to this. Cheese. I don't think you've ever seen him drunk before. It's, an, it's, it's, cheese, it's, an, it's a novel experience. <laughs> like you've seen, you've probably seen him in every iteration of like emotional, like emotion at this point. Emotional, except various for levels like of emotional elated and like drunk. And I'm I'm feeding into my I'm using my scientific mind to to dis, in, discover this further by feeding you cheese. I say some calories, so like like a rat. He says that cheese like a rat, like a person who eats cheese. Not everything has to mean something. Oh, like a lab mm, rat. Mm. Yeah, this, this just no, cheese was made for. Just eat the damn cheese, Casper. Casper, I don't want it to go to waste. I spent sixty crowns on this. It's not poison. No. <laughs> the breeze for me and Ophelia, though. Hands off. Oh. Oh. Me- can I? May I have some brie? Say please. Please. <laughs> please. We'll give you a small share Sophia, of the brie. Sophia gives, Sophia gives him a, a, a slice of her serve <laughs> as well. Kilton, you also want some brie? Yes. <laughs> give him a, a share of brie to Kilton as well, but the majority of it is for me and Ophelia. I didn't even have to say please. Thank, thank you. Oh, you didn't compare yourself to <gasps> a lab rat. Please, Anna, thank you. Yes, I did. Nobody was listening. Well, I said regular rat, but... No one's a lab rat. We're just <laughs> acquaintances, friends, somewhere in between, sharing cheese in a bar cheese, at 7 friends. p.m. on a Wednesday. I am a lab rat, though. And he kind of just does like this. Oh, my God, man. Uh, you really are drunk. You've just, <laughs> you, yeah, he, he seems to have forgotten that he's escaped the lab. At least I hope so. Maybe we're in it right now. Just looming over you. Fucking cheese. <laughs> he does seem like smiley, though. I think it's definitely an ugly smile. <laughs> I've drawn him smiling. I'm not sure how it would actually look on him. I have to assume that it's ugly. It's not ugly. It's just his. Mari. Yes. I want to ask you a favor. Tread carefully, but go ahead. Mage's party. Yes. Can you make me pretty? Casper, of course. <laughs> I was going to do that whether you asked me or not. I mean, what? can you do magic to make my face? Oh. Give me a second. Hold on. I know that's a spell, but I think there's also a potion I can make that can do that for you. Uh, that's discord that's not what i wanted um maybe let's see that is a spell that i never bothered to learn uh but i might have be able to make you something that can help i'm where the fuck am i in this book god 
Uh, you know, you want to hide the scars. Yes. God. Uh, don't think. I can do my best with makeup. Slams his ass down on the bench next to the woeful writer. (laughs) The woeful writer. I can make people like care about it less with you, though. I can't actually physically change your face with a uh, like with magic, but I can make it so people magically don't give as much of a shit. No, I'll still give a shit. I'll do my best with the makeup. Uh, right. It is a spell that, that I could learn, but I don't have. Well, I'll try. I'll think of something. I don't like Pinky Peeper. You know. The only one Casper, who likes makeup. Um, what? <laughs> You're going to insult me again? No. I actually have a lot of things to insult you about, but I will never insult your appearance. Then nothing you say will insult me that much, I assume. You don't need to let it get to you, is what I'm saying. Um, You know, I... I don't know, we don't always see eye to eye, but... There are kings and emperors. Bro. I'm really regretting trying to tell you this while I'm sober. There are (laughs) kings and emperors out there that I would not deign to interact with, but they do not have any scars on their faces because they send other people into war. They don't do it themselves. So, I don't consider that kind of thing a mark of character. Now, all I'm going to ask where those scars came from, but anybody that's respectable should give you the benefit of the doubt. You see that Hector, the the bartender, comes over and goes, "Uh, would you like another round? Anybody? It's getting a little late, but... I think we're good, Hector. Thank you. We'll be retiring shortly. Of course, of course. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. I'll be uh, closing down shortly here. Uh, He's going to head back into the back room as some more of the locals begin to clear out. If you ever miss your hometowns. Absolutely not. Sorry. Yes, absolutely not. I mean, me neither, but I was just thinking about how it was probably for the best Hilton that I does. got. What do you miss about home, Kilton? My wife? My house? Well, besides that, like, that's obvious. Well, if it's so obvious, why ask? Okay. What do I like about Lyria? Well, in the last I ask, few years, I'm also, it is I, not I ask, Oh, good. I ask just because I, I, I'm also from Lyria and I want to know what other oh. people who people who love it, I oh, want no. to know what they love about it as I've never held much fondness for it. Uh, well, when was the last time you were there? Ten years ago? No, oh, well, it was horrible ten years ago. <laughs> right before everything went to shit is when I was last there. Oh, well, it was fine then. Probably. Wait, went to shit the first time or the second time? Yeah. 
I just, uh, I'm just don't worry <laughs> about it. Uh, uh, it's fine now. I had other things to think about. No war, no turmoil, no princely betrayals anymore, as I understand it. Um, water's clean, grass is green, and people don't tell you their damn life stories at the bar. They just drink in silence. <laughs> Buy things from me. <laughs> and there's no lessons. Well, not near my house anyway. <laughs> it's not much nicer picture and a sentiment of it than I had, though. My experience of Lyria was limited to my family and the estate. <laughs> the estate. Well, I mean, you know, if you ask somebody how Vengerberg is, they'd have very different ideas depending on when they were there and how badly their body was burned. <laughs> it's the same as anything. Mari came from money. No, no. She could have worked on a manor. <laughs> no, that's... Yeah, I, I, I come from money. I am of noble pedigree. I don't know what we're talking the girls from Eratus are all at least some sort of landed gentry. They don't generally let in real people. They let in talented people and rich people, and those two those two are not always the same. I happen to be a correlation of both. I was recommended to go to Eratusa, not forced to. But you didn't like Lyria being rich, being on a manor, <sighs> shitty parents, shitty family. When you're the middle of seven children, you often get forgotten. With all the money you could spend. I wouldn't mind being. Oh, honestly, those to judge. Who's to judge? <laughs> I, I was wanted... the youngest of seven. We had a, probably a crown for each child. When your only purpose in life is to marry, to secure family connections or repay a favor to someone, when you have greater ambitions, you look for ways out of it. Yeah, that makes sense. I wasn't content with the fate of being the wife of a nobleman. I wanted to learn. I wanted to travel. I wanted to do whatever I wanted to do. And look at me now. Why do you ask, Ophelia? Do you miss home? You homesick? No, I... No, actually, I... Well, I do, actually. I can't go back. But... Oh, neither can I. <laughs> something that something that Angren had, and actually a lot of the greater Elf Guardian area had, was they really knew the importance that olives served. Olives? To, mm, I remember the first There were a lot of varieties available. You could press them for oh, oil, yes. and I was oh. just thinking they would go really nicely with these cheeses. That's all. Ah, oh. that would be nice. <laughs> I once got paid. I would for... not go back to Angra just for the olives. I once got paid in olive oil. Horrible swamps full of giant mosquitoes. And worse. And olives. <laughs> Kind of shows you there's a silver lining to everything. Do all of the trees grow in swamps? I don't think they do. Uh, there's plenty of parts of Angren. It's a big place. I <sighs> had a dog. What was your dog's name? Olive. I don't remember. Maybe it was Olive. And just remember, I was trying to think of something I miss about home. And we had a dog. I think Faye, his name was Wolf. Faye, give me an awareness oh. check. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, Faye. Oh, pretty good. Not good enough. 
no. Uh, Casper, as you're feeling pretty good, like the alcohol hit your good. brain. I'm having a good time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have a really dumb brain right now. It feels great to finally be kind of a little bit stress free. You know, it's going to fade faster than you want it to. But for like a little while here, it feels really good to just feel comfortable with your friends. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What horrible thing is going to happen, you <laughs> asshole? <laughs> As you're relating Who's this spying on us, this story about a memory of yours about this dog you had whose name was Wolf. Here he is. One of the few things that you remember about or try to remember about your past life. None of you notice. Uh, Ophea is the only one that is kind of facing the whole room at this point and has kind of a full view of this bar room. There's only a few people left. There's a kind of weary looking, tired old merchant, another laborer who's had too many and doesn't know when to stop. And... Uh, the rest of you are kind of engaged in your conversation, backs turned to most everything else. As Casper, oh you're God. relating this story, you hear a voice from the kind of corner of the bar room. And it says, Oh, come, Casper. It can't be the only thing you miss about your past life. Don't you miss your old brothers? Uh, you all turn to see a man in kind of leather studded looking armor custom made who the fuck kind of shaven head (sighs) scarred forearms that are very veiny and you notice that his arms seem almost like strangely long like almost unnaturally long but not like so much so that it's like completely freakish. Uh, Casper, go ahead and give me a... Actually, I mean, Casper, you know who this is. Of course you do. This is uh, Pardis of Koras, who was one of your cat witcher family for many years. Past tense? He was, he's uh, sitting in this chair, kind of leaning back. He's got kind of a crust of bread, like he's been listening to you for a little while. He's been kind of observing you and your group. He goes, Oh, Casper, it's so fine to see you happy for once. Look at that big, jolly smile. Oh, how nice. Creepy. Oh. Oh, he's being sarcastic. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> happy too, bud. <laughs> Ophelia, do you remember which sword I handed you? Um, it's in my notes. Hold on. I think you handed Ophelia uh, the silver sword because the steel sword. Anybody is, has a steel sword? Anyone has a steel sword? I believe I have the silver one, yes. Bo, I'm going to send you the information that you kind of remember about uh, Pardis. He was a little older than you. He was... Let's say it's the silver. This guy's creepy. I dropped it in uh, Discord. You see he has kind of a, a slash like across his neck that has healed over, but you uh, assume might be partially why he has... Uh, not a speech impediment, but his speech is kind of raspy, raspy. and, and uh, cut off a bit in a strange way. He goes, I never would have thought I would have met up with an old friend, a brother here. <clears throat> it's good to see you and your friends, Casper. What are you doing here? Working. What else? When I heard tale that there was a witcher in town, a cat witcher nonetheless, 
Well, I had to see for myself, didn't I? Had to see who from the old guard was still prowling around these parts. It's been a while since one of our kind have been up this far north. And now look, two in the same barroom. You've never exactly been the social type. No. The old Casper never was really the social butterfly that some of the others were, but we had that in common, didn't we? We never quite knew how to fit in. What do you want? Is it so much for an, a brother to drop in on say hello? You don't. You don't do that. We don't do that. Casper, you give us such little credit. We spent so long together. So much of our lives. We can't just toss that away, can we? Aren't you going to introduce me to your friends? I'm so keen to meet them. They seem like such nice people. Casper kind of like steps a little bit. They're none of your concern. Oh, but they're okay. friends of my brother. I'd say that's concern Not enough. Not your brother. Oh, you heard me, Casper. What else are we? What family? Back up a little bit. Just stand next to Casper and kind of beam a little bit, waiting for (laughs) my chance to introduce myself. (laughs) uh, Clearly, they are not friends. Okay. Who's the contract out for? You rarely kill monsters. I do, when the price is right. And well, you know, times are tough. Finding good paying work these days. Well, unless you want to be on the front line, it's hard. What mutagens did you take? You look... better and worse. Well, I appreciate that. You know, I never was the strongest of the pack. And, well, I find some ways to enhance my shortcomings. Enough so, at least, that I can hold my own. What job are you working, Thardis? Uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion check. Yup. Uh, and I get a bonus to this, I think. Yes, you do because of your recent uh, bath and empathy uh, bonuses. You'll get a plus three for this persuasion check. Self care bonus. Self-care bonus. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 that's the saddest critical I've ever seen. Wow. Oh. It oh, is. Buddy. It's a critical, but unfortunately still not enough. Yeah. He goes, Oh, Casper, let's not talk business right now. It's just a nice chance to say hello and 
catch up a little. I'll tell you what, Casper, I think we're probably going to see more of each other sooner rather than later. I'd love to see how things have been with you. Maybe we can chat sometime soon. I've got some things I need to take care of. But, uh, well, we'll talk soon, I think. He begins to kind of stand up from his chair. He kind of has a, like a bit of meat that he has been chewing on, kind of like a, like a flank steak type thing that he's been, somebody's leftovers that he was eating. Um, everyone go ahead and give me an awareness check again. Here I go again. Ooh, nice. Casper. That's more like it. What's up. All right. Yes, you all pass. You all hear from behind you towards the main door the sound of a distinctively creaky floorboard as someone enters into the bar room with a faint, fairly heavy step. You didn't happen to bring back up, did you? Uh, so those of you, you all heard this. Who, who of you turns around? I turned around. I do. I turned around. I turn so that like I'm like half. Um, I can half see Pardis and half okay. see the door. I'm like facing yeah. forward. All right. I'm. I'm going to keep my eyes on Pardis, actually. <laughs> okay. So, Kilton and Mara, you turn fully to look at the doorway. Kilton, you, or Casper, you think to kind of split your, your attention, and, and Ophe keeps your attention on, on Pardis. Uh, you see coming in through the main doorway uh, the figure of Lun, the innkeeper. Uh, he is carrying a large kind of haversack full of um, what appears to be kind of vegetables or some sort of shipment that has been delivered and is dragging a large kind of crate that looks like some sort of uh, bedding or materials. He kind of looks up at all of you. Um, Ophea and Casper uh, see as Pardis begins to kind of head towards the kitchen door very calmly. He's like walking, but almost silently. His footsteps seem to just almost like not uh, create sound. Uh, he responds to Casper. Um, he says, Oh, Casper, you and I both know that backup was never really our strong suit. I'll be seeing you, brother, around. And uh, Pardis is going to slip through the kitchen door. So Ophea and Casper, you will see him do that. He's just casually walking through the door. I don't. I don't think he's the chef here. <laughs> <laughs>